Hey guys, welcome back. So I know my makeup looks a little extra right now with all the glitter, but I just filmed a Glitter Tears makeup tutorial that is right before this if you want to check that out. So this video is about hot new products that I've been trying out and loving so far, and I feel like a lot of people don't know about some of these products, so I wanted to talk to you guys about them and, you know, show you what I'm testing out right now. So if you're interested in seeing these hot new products that I've been testing out, stay tuned. The first product that I want to talk about is actually what is on my face at the moment. And it is the Lit Cosmetics Glitter that I used in my previous video to achieve the Glitter Tears look. Uh, this brand sells glitter and glitter adhesive exclusively. It's based in Canada, I believe. And the products are gorgeous. It just doesn't... Like, I don't know. In in real life, this glitter, like, I'm looking myself in the mirror, it looks so good. But you can't see its full potential on camera. But I'm going to do my best. So this one that I'm actually wearing right now is called Boogie Wonderland. Prism like purple. And it has so many different types of colors in it. But it's just so gorgeous. I'm just in love with these glitters because of the quality. This, um glitter doesn't move around. When I put the adhesive on my cheeks in the last video, if you already saw it, um, you will be able to tell that there was basically virtually no fallout when I was applying the glitter itself onto the adhesive. It sticks very, very well. It's very, very good quality. They're like 16 bucks a piece, which is a lot considering that it's glitter, but they have to make their money and they do give you a lot. That like This is going to last a very, very long time. You don't need that much to achieve like a full-on glitter makeup look like this and it'll last you a very very long time a little bit goes a long way and I love that about a product if I, like if it's good quality and you get what you pay for I'm not mad at paying the price like I will pay the price so I am in love with these glitters by Lit Cosmetics they are the bomb I'm so happy that I have them there's that next is a product that I actually didn't even consider until I started doing other people's makeup and it's very important to keep the makeup that you use sanitized when you're doing other people's makeup, especially like if you're using the same product on multiple people, you want to make sure that each layer is sanitized, clean, like powders and uh, shadows and stuff like that. So I came across this brand called Beauty So Clean, and they sell sanitizing mists like this one. Um, this is the Cosmetic Sanitizer Mist. What you do is you would spray this on like your Studio Fix powder, like the top of it, you would spray it into the powder. Not too much though, you don't want to saturate it um, because you don't want the product to be wet. You just want it to be sanitized. So you would spray this into powders like that and um, it's basically like rubbing alcohol but it has a few more other sanitizing ingredients in here that do the job very, very well. And this will clean your makeup. It'll make it that much easier for you to do makeup on other people if you're a freelancer or a makeup artist. So it says it effectively cleans, rejuvenates, and removes bacteria from pressed powders, eyeshadows, cream foundations, etc. FYI, I do freelance uh, makeup in the Bay Area. So if you are in the Bay Area and you're looking for a makeup artist or a freelancer to do your makeup for an event or whatever, my information will be down below if you want to book me. I am exclusively in the Bay Area, but if you want to check out my work, you can check out my Instagram, which is also going to be in the bottom bar. Follow me on my Instagram if you want to see all my makeup looks and details and like my face chart looks. I'll, I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But definitely follow me on all that social media if you're interested. So the next thing that I want to talk to you about is a nail polish top coat, and it's a matte top coat if uh, you guys are interested in like doing matte nails. If you want to do it right, get the top coat. I use the one by Essie. It's called Matte About You, and it gets the perfect matte finish for your nails. I'm just so excited that I finally have this because for the longest time, I could not find a matte top coat to use, and I finally found this one, and I love it. So that's the Matte uh, About You top coat by Essie. Uh, a couple more things. These are like skincare types of, actually, the one that I want to show you I'm about to use. It is the... Oh god. It's Thermal Spring Water by Avene? Avene? It's a thermal spring water and it's good for so many different things. Like when I'm hot, like right now, 
And oh my god, you guys, it feels so good. It feels so good. It's so fine. The mist is very, very fine. You could take this anywhere. If you're going to an amusement park and you need to mist yourself, this would be perfect. If you have, like, redness or itchiness on your face, like, if you get hives, if you get allergic to something, like I do sometimes, I sometimes I get hives for no reason at all. And... I don't know what to do about it. This is good for that because it will take away that redness and it will diminish, um, like, the irritation. It, it's good for sunburns, drying treatments, facial redness, diaper irritations if you have a little baby with problems like that, various irritations, razor burn, after hair removal. Um, it also helps you with makeup removal, after exercise, in the summer, and during travel. I am so, so, so happy that I have this. So sometimes when I'm like on my way to work, on the train, I get bored, or I, you know, if I'm feeling anxious, I need to release some stress, I have found something that has just been a good healer for me, and that is face charts. If you guys don't know what face charts are, like if you go to Mac and you see those uh, face charts <laughs> with like makeup drawings and stuff, I don't know how to explain it. It's basically a face, and people can practice their makeup on it. MAC, when I've gone to MAC a few times, they were kind and gracious enough to provide me some face charts, because they don't sell them. Uh, they're pretty exclusive to MAC, but I'm sure if you ask, like for a couple, they'll give you a couple. So this is what they look like. These are the MAC ones. Uh, you can't find these anywhere except for MAC. Sometimes I will photocopy some uh, of them just to have them for my own portfolio and my own records. This has just been so, so great for me because it's really helped me refine my skills as a makeup artist and, or a self-taught makeup artist, and um, it just makes me test my creativity and my inspiration a little bit, see what I come up with each time I do one. So I just wanna show you a few of what I've done. So this is what they look like. This one is more of like a cool toned makeup look. This is something that I would do every day. This is just something that I wanted to test my creativity with. It's like a purple haze type of look and she's doing a little smoking right there. Um, I was actually really proud of that one because I've never drawn smoke before. So that one came out good. And this one I'm loving because it's uh, green, green. If you have really brown eyes, you want to have green eyeshadow around your eyes to really brighten that brown eye up. And I don't know, this stuff, like, it really, it kills a lot of time for me, and it really relieves my stress. If you can't find the MAC ones, if you, if you go to MAC and they don't have face charts for you to, like, hand out or whatever, you can go to thefacechart.com, and they have face charts that you can get online. These are by Dustin Hunter. He's a YouTuber as well, and his face charts are just as good. It has the same type of textured paper that you need. It's just a different style of face chart. So uh, you can find these on there. They're very um, affordable for the amount that you get, and he also has uh, the eye chart, which is just of the eyes, if you can see, and the lip chart, exclusively lips. So he gives you a lot to work with and to practice with. They're very, very affordable, like I said, and they're just a stress reliever. If you have nothing to do at the end of your day and you, you know, just wanna draw, just wanna release some tension or something, face charts are great. And they really, really help you build your creativity and your brand. So if you wanna see like all those face charts that I just showed you, if you wanna see them in fuller detail, go to my Instagram and you will see all of my face charts that I've done on there um, if you're interested. So I'll leave that, all that info for you down below or like right here somewhere. Lastly, this is probably my favorite, favorite product of the moment, and it is a new one, or relatively new by Fresh, and it's the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. You guys know how I feel about my roses. Everything, any product that I have that has roses in it, I usually love, and roses, like stuff with rose extracts or stuff in it is really, really good for your skin. If you have red skin, rosacea, irritation, um, if it gets dry, like anything with rose in it is going to just change your life. I've been loving this so far. I put it on every single night before I go to sleep and I wake up and my skin looks like it's brand new. I'm not even kidding. It's so luxurious looking. Like I can barely notice my pores when I put it on. Like that's huge for me. You know, this stuff, 
this is supposed to be great for your skin and it's done wonders for my skin so far. I'm loving it, loving it so much. Anything that Fresh comes out with, I usually fall in love with because that brand is just high quality. I've been using it for years and they know what they're doing. So I will never stray away from Fresh and this new product from them is ultimately the bomb. So that's the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream from Fresh. So that just about does it for this hot new products video. I hope you guys enjoyed and decided to check some of these products out for yourself. If you're interested, leave any comments down below. I love talking to you guys. And I think that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.